Cheat Audio's uh, new Idrisu flagship DAC is out now. It is literally uh, one of the best DACs you can get. The thing is, it is incredibly expensive. Look, it's not cheap. You're, you're looking at $2,300. It's now official. You could actually order it from the company's website. You are not going to get DSD support with this DAC. Um, there is no MQA. Um, the only thing you will get with it mostly is 24-bit, uh, 192 kilohertz PCM uh, support. Uh, that's something you get with it. Now, I don't know whether this will be worth it for a lot of people because when someone wants to pay over $2,000 for anything, they would want almost every support that they can get. So when you don't have DSD, no MQA support, does it even make sense for anyone to go for it? So Sheet Audio just announced their E-Drizzle Plus. Um, they claim it's better. Uh, it's better than what they've been making before. Uh, and it, it looks better in terms of its premium design. Uh, the, the, they just made it very, very well. And it's, it's the most important thing that they're selling to you. Um, they are going to include a new, new DAC inside it new DAC inside it there is also the fact that the outer casing has been improved the company claims that um the analog board upgrade is expected to even cost around 800 usd the, the company even goes on to explain that that the new e drizzle is said to to have an upgradable DAC uh, which makes it even better than what they've been making before. Uh, in terms of in terms of support, it comes with um, it, it it comes with a lot of connections. For instance, you get a Unison USB connect input, you get XLR input, you get RCA inputs, uh, you get optical input as well. Uh, this thing is good. You even get a digital, at least new digital filters in here. Uh, it, it's 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 definitely going to to work well with any any type of headphone, uh, any type of headphone that is out there. Uh, in in terms of output, it has one pair of XLR balance and two pairs of RCA single ended output. Um, power consumption isn't that much you're looking at just 45 watts uh of power consumption that it needs it's it doesn't weigh so much but it's still a bit heavy it's, it weighs around 25 pounds it's very good in most respect obviously for what you can get with it you can pair it up with an amplifier very good amplifier but then again for the fact it doesn't support mqa and dsd i do not know how people will receive the product overall but it looks nice it's available right now like i said two thousand three hundred dollars is the price tag i will drop details for you guys to check it out if you're interested subscribe to the channel do like our content i'll see you guys very much next